Hi everyone, today on D News Reports, we're looking at one of the biggest black markets in the world, the illegal wildlife trade. We're starting with a very unusual police bust in Russia. Take a look. Police in Russia recently pulled over a hearse for speeding and made an unexpected discovery. $200,000 worth of contraband hidden in the trunk and also in the coffin. The funny thing about the accidental bust is what was seized. It wasn't drugs, it wasn't weapons, it was caviar. $200,000 worth of illegal caviar. This report made the rounds largely on the strength of its quirkiness, but it's actually a small piece of a much larger ongoing story, the story of the illegal wildlife trade. That term covers a lot. Logging of exotic woods, endangered animals sold as pets, and all sorts of wildlife harvested for traditional medicines and foods, like caviar. It's a broad term, but it adds up to big business. In terms of money earned for black marketers, the wildlife trade is up there with the drug and weapons trades. Smuggling fish or plants or exotic pets is a classic high-risk, high-margin outfit. In a lot of ways, in fact, it operates a lot like the drug trade. There are petty, small-time dealers. In South Africa, for example, chameleons are caught illegally and sold as pets on the side of the road. And then there's the big time. Tiger skins reportedly go for hundreds of thousands of dollars apiece, and profits like that have attracted the attention of drug cartels looking to diversify their businesses. In other words, the drug and wildlife trades are similar enough that they're actually starting to merge. For the most part, wildlife smuggling is something that individual countries have to manage themselves. The United Nations did create a treaty known as CITES, which lists specific species under threat of trafficking and recommends enforcement policies to member countries. And the vast majority of world governments have signed on to that treaty. But CITES itself has almost no enforcement power. So, like the UN, it's often accused of impotence. Meanwhile, in all those CITES member countries, authorities are left to their games of whack-a-mole with wildlife smugglers. That accidental caviar bust is just one example, but it's actually a pretty dire one. Caviar traditionally comes from sturgeon in the Caspian and Black Seas. Beluga sturgeon, the largest species in the family, produce the most prized caviar, and because of that, they're critically endangered. In the 1990s and 2000s, Beluga experienced a 90% drop in population. In response, the U.S. has banned imports of it, and Russia has greatly restricted beluga harvests. The root of the problem is that eating caviar is celebrated in Russia. That wasn't always the case. Back in the 13th century, it was considered peasant food. But now caviar's popularity is wrapped up in status, and scarcity only inflames its exotic appeal. So what can be done about demand for illegal caviar? Or for tiger skins, or chameleons for that matter? Well, one thing to do, at least, is make sure that that demand isn't met. Russian authorities are taking this to heart and doing with seized caviar what they'd be doing with seized drugs. They're destroying it. If you want to learn a lot more about the illegal wildlife trade, visit RacingExtinction.com. There you can find ways to make your voice heard. There's a lot you can do to help, and whatever you choose to do, tell us about it with the hashtag StartWithOneThing.